tonight, the mother of a 26 year old shot and killed by Tigard police wants answers about her son's death. You may recall we reported back in January when an officer shot and killed Jacob McDuff during a domestic disturbance call. Our Jenny Young spoke with the family's attorney and joins us live now. Jenny, you learned they're considering taking legal action against the city. That's right, Elizabeth. The attorney representing Jacob McDuff's mother recently filed, sent a tort claim notice uh, to the Tigard police chief and the city of Tigard. It means that they believe they may, that attorney believes they may have um, a lawsuit, may have reason to file suit against the city uh, for wrongful death, but they need investigators to release the findings in this case. Video from the scene at Edgewood Manor Apartments in Tigard on January 6th, the night Jacob McDuff was killed by a police officer. Tigard police say they responded to McDuff's apartment after a domestic violence complaint. Jacob was in a mental health crisis. Um, he was punching holes in the walls of the apartment. And when the police responded, he got scared and that's when he ran down to his truck. And that's my understanding. McDuff's death certificate lists the immediate cause of death as multiple gunshots to the torso. In the column that says describe how the injury occurred, it reads shot by police during confrontation. The 26 year old's mother wants to know what happened during that confrontation. The police aren't telling the family um, anything. McDuff's mother hired attorney Scott Levin to help get answers. Levin says his client got a call from police shortly before her son was killed. They asked her permission to break the window of the truck because the truck's registered in her name. And she said, yeah, please go ahead, but be gentle with my son. He has, he's in a mental health, he has mental health issues. And the next contact she had with the police, he had been killed. We reached out to the Tigard Police Department. They told us they don't have access to the investigation and referred us to the district attorney. The DA's office told us they haven't been able to review the case because it's still in the hands of investigators from the Washington County Major Crimes Team. Like we just simply do not know how it went from the point of someone in a mental health crisis, hey, can I break the window on your truck, to him being killed. And he was trying to figure out his life. He was 26 at the time and, and was still just kind of starting his journey. The major crimes team is a multi agency unit that's run out of the DA's office. I am still trying to figure out why it's taking so long for that investigation to land on the DA's desk. I will continue to follow the story. I also want to mention that police did say uh, that McDuff had a knife. Levin believes that it was a small pocket keychain type uh, knife. Uh, we still haven't confirmed that. And that officer uh, who did pull the trigger multiple times, apparently, he did resign from the force last week. Now, he was put on administrative leave, but he was taken off administrative leave before this investigation was over. We're working to learn more about that. But again, he has resigned. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. All right, Jenny, thank you.